everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mari Yume and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to become a virtual YouTuber. If you have been struggling to trying to find information on this topic, then this video is perfect for you. As you continue to watch, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more VTubing tutorials and how to's. Now let's get started. Now what exactly is a VTuber? A VTuber, otherwise known as a virtual YouTuber, is an online entertainer that makes YouTube content or live streams. They are usually represented by an animated avatar that is either generated with drawings by a program called Live2D or digitally inspired in an animated 3D setting. Okay, now that you know what a VTuber is, how do you become one? Don't worry, I made a list of all the things you need to do in order to become a virtual YouTuber. First, you need some sort of hardware to hold all of your VTubing info. Second, you need a model design. And finally, you need a software program to stream your model. Let's start with the different types of hardware you can use for VTubing. You need to have either a laptop, a desktop, or a smartphone for VTubing because how else will you be accessing the internet to make your content? It's okay if you don't have the top of the line desktop or if your laptop is about five years old or if you don't even have a smartphone because as long as you have a computer, you can VTube. Besides a computer, if you wanna be a virtual streamer, you absolutely need to buy a microphone. If you have a laptop, you can use the built-in microphone if you can't seem to afford one right now. It is much better than no audio. This is because when you are live streaming, people want that real-time interaction with you and having audio, especially great quality audio, will enhance the viewer's experience. Okay, so what if you don't want to talk? Maybe you're shy or you're deaf or you just can't afford to buy a microphone. That's okay. That means for now, streaming is just not for you, but you can make YouTube content instead. You will need a camera for this, like a webcam, your phone, or a DSLR. This is because you need some sort of capturing device to be able to record yourself. Most laptops have a built-in webcam, so that can work. For your phone, there is a camera already installed on there. And if you do have some money, I saw a webcam on Amazon for $15 and another one for $20 and they both stream in 1080p. Video is essential for bringing a VTuber avatar to life. There are softwares out there that can allow you to VTube without a webcam. And if you're comfortable with talking, then I don't see the need to buying a webcam for VTubing right now. It honestly just depends on the route you wanna take for VTubing. So that's the baseline for the hardware section of VTubing. Now let's move on to the fancier stuff. There are tons of developing technology that is being made just for virtual YouTubing. Companies have made it possible to not only track your face, but your hands, your facial expressions, and even your whole body. Leap Motion is a hand tracker set that is popular among 3D VTubers. This hardware typically costs around $100 on Amazon, and you can attach the device anywhere on your chest, and it will track a variety of hand motions and the new updated software can track your individual thingies. <laughs> Another device that you can use is a virtual reality set. VR can vary in both price and the range of motion it can give you. It really depends on the brand that you end up buying and if you want to buy additional trackers to add more range of motion. This is for the people who have money to really invest into VTubing. With the VR set, you can also play a variety of games that's really fun to do as a VTuber. I know that there are a lot of VTubers who really enjoy using something called a VR chat. I myself haven't played a lot of VR chat, but my friends have been trying to get me into the game since it's a game that is heavily popular in VTubing communities. Okay, so how do you design your model? Well, typically people usually develop some sort of character sheet. What is a character sheet? A character sheet is a visual representation of an idea, design, and mood for a character. You can use this to convey an overall design of what you want your character to look like. It's along the same lines as concept art. Here you can start to visualize your character's personality traits, clothing styles, facial expressions, and so much more. Take some time to really think about what you want your avatar to look like. It's okay if it takes you a week, a month, or even half a year. It's also okay to be doing one kind of design and then completely change your mind later on. Okay, so now you have a general idea of what your avatar is going to look like and you have the kind of hardware to start capturing some software. Now comes the most important question of what kind of VTuber you're going to be. There are three different types, PNG, 2D, and 3D. A PNG streamer is when you just have your flat drawing being represented as your avatar. Some people like to make it a reactive PNG by having it light up when you speak or you can draw a few different images on your PNG so when you talk the mouth opens and you can also make it do some animated blink. A 2D avatar is a flat anime style model typically made with live 2D. It's what's commonly used for corporate VTubers like Hololive. A 3D model is developed in a mathematical representation of humanoid surfaces in a three-dimensional space. This style of avatars is much more commonly seen in the western 
part of VTubing as well as indie VTubers. Okay, so now you know what hardware you're going to use and you already know what kind of VTuber you're going to be. Now, how are you going to start actually, you know, VTubing? Let's talk about the software that you can use. So when it comes to software, you need a couple different things in order to track your face and then actually capturing that software for streaming and for making videos. Luckily, there are a ton of both free and paid options for different types of software in terms of face tracking. If you're someone who's not going to be using a webcam, then don't worry because there's a software out there that actually tracks your keyboard, your mouse, and your gamepad instead. Since there are so many options out there and more just keep coming in to develop, I suggest you look around and play with a few different programs to see what works best for you. Once you've settled on what kind of face capturing software you want to use, it's time to hook it up to a capturing software. There are a few different programs out there that you can use, but the most common ones that I have seen are OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, and XSplit. Each of these three softwares have their pros and cons for VTubing and you won't really know which one is best for you until you give them a try and see how your computer handles the applications. Since there are so many different options out there for software, try not to get too overwhelmed and indecisive on what to use. Many different VTubers will tell you that one program is better than the other, but what might work for them may not work for you, so please don't let yourself get stressed over it. VTubing is meant to give you the means to create content in a unique and expressive way and you should honestly be putting all of your attention on that, not battling inside your head if you should be using, I don't know, like Luppet or VC Face. Now you understand the process of what you will need to, well, start VTubing. It's fairly simple in terms of what you need to get. The more complicated part comes on deciding on what you want to showcase to the internet. Being a virtual YouTuber is your own unique creation, so please take the time and go at your own pace. You will thank yourself later for being kind to yourself and giving your mental health the time of the day. And if you're struggling a lot or maybe you're scared of being on this journey alone, worry not. I will gladly be there to be your little cheerleader to help you through your journey because it's not about reaching your destination. It's about the experiences and memories that you make along of your VTubing career. And I would love to be a part of that. I hope you found this video to be informative. It was a general overview to the start of my VTubing series tutorials. Helping others is a passion of mine. And if I was able to give you good advice in this video, then please please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more VTube style content. I do a lot of Japanese lessons, let's plays, anime related content and tutorials on here and VTubing is starting to become a new addition to my channel. If you have any questions regarding VTubing that you would like me to cover in another video, please leave them down below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have gotten to the very end, then I'm going to let you know one last thing. You're my little VTuber pot champ. <laughs> Bye!